Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. If you don't mind my saying, Captain, Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability is not flattering. <laughs> Sending a corrupted tracking signal to the board was quite clever, if I might say, Captain. It was indeed. You have a message from Adjutant Sophia Akande. I'm impressed, Captain. I almost expected you wouldn't go through with it. Unfortunately, Dr. Wells found a way to corrupt the signal before we could pinpoint his location. Still, it's only a matter of time before we find him. Come visit me in Byzantium. We need to have a talk about the future of this colony. Byzantium's a big place. Meet me in my office. I've authorized your ship at my personal landing pad. Adjutant Akande has ended her call. Rather rudely, if I might say, considering she didn't sign off. Will there be anything else, Captain? Let's go. Okay, what is... Sophia was pleased with your results and requested that you come see her in Byzantium, or kept secret but not forgotten. Land your ship in... Okay, let's go to the Hope. Where is the Hope? Oh, there it is! Yeah, yeah. Welcome back, everyone. We're hopefully... We have arrived at the Hope. Gonna conclude. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. What's going to happen if I skip the Hope? <laughs> if your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too. Or the sun. <laughs> Tell me about the Hope. The Hope is the Groundbreaker's prettier, sleeker sister. She wandered off and got lost for 70 years but just recently was found. Also, there are hundreds of thousands of frozen organic life forms hibernating in her hold. I kind of wish I was hibernating in her hold again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, he's coming with me. Wait, what? Oh, no, wait. Track that one. Pavati. Vika Max, you're out. Nioka, Felix. Nioka, you're in. Adio. We're back on the hope. Again. Alright, we gotta go to Hope's comms first, and then... Or do we have to do auxiliary power first? Yeah, hook up the auxiliary power. Available functions. Patch. Route and auxiliary power source to supplement EDL-002's reactor status. Logs. Pre-launch roll call. Captain Hunt, Wilhelm, First Mate, Donna, Navigation, Resi, Chief Engineer, Frank, Medical Officer, Alexi. Ten years. Longest trip Donna and I ever took was a week-long sojourn into the Silver Mountains. Even that set her on edge. She's a homebody, always was. She packed so much food, we could have been stranded out on those rocks for a month, and we probably would have been just fine. UDL sent us on a team-building seminar into their city once. They paid for everything. Donna still packed nutrient bars, just in case the books broke down. 
It's going to take this ship 10 years to reach Halcyon, an entire decade. It's a good thing UDL provided the rations, else she might have dumped our life savings into mixed nuts and freeze-dried maples. Automated audio transcript. This is it, folks. Say goodbye to old blue. Yeah, if anyone wants to. Good riddance. What? Why so bitter, Rezi? She's been good. She's been a good home. Give me a spaceship any day of the week. Well, we'll see how you feel a year in. Moment of silence. Or should we make a toast? Earth in the. It feels weird leaving Earth in the rearview mirror. No, from now on we only look forward. Hmm. Cool. Uh, status. Power status. Only life support is powered. Maintenance status. Systems due for regular scheduled maintenance. 20,000 days overdue. Bloody hell. Have an accident storage status. Are functioning within intended parameters. 99, 92, 76. Okay. Patch. Sweet. That ought to do her, Captain. Hey, a corporate recruit. Here's someone snuck into Depository 18. Amateurs. That has never happened around here. Really? Are you so certain? <laughs> Quincy Duncan? You know, when they posted us here, I told them there wasn't any point. Nobody would be so stupid as to fly to the ass end of the colony for this derelict. Shows how much I know. You've got about five seconds to tell me what you're doing here before I make you take a walk outside. Is that a threat, Quincy? Uh, engineering and lie. I was sent to repair the reactor so it doesn't explode and take the colony out with it. They sent me to extract a few samples from your frozen cargo. It's gross. <laughs> oh, man. I can lie. Bullshit. If UDL was sending more folks, they'd have told us. Oh, fuck. Persuade. I don't know what to tell you. I'm just following orders. I get you. This is the dullest job I've ever had. But orders said to stand here, so here I am. All right. You'll want a uniform so my staff doesn't shoot you on sight. They're dangerous mix of bored and trigger happy. We've got a few extra in the old badge station to my right. Good luck. Sweet! Um. Uniform? Please? Badge station? Uniform? Where's the uniform? Can I get a uniform? Please? Where's the uniform? This whole starving to death thing isn't all it's cracked up to be. On the upside, bathrooms are the cleanest they've been since we left port. It's made my job a hell of a lot easier. Where's the uniforms? Don't know where the uniforms are. Advanced defensive armor, is that the uniform? Okay. Done. Okay, let me put on the advanced defensive armor. There we go. Wow. 
Okay. And how much armor does that give me? 22. Of course. Still says authorized personnel only. Where is... Oh. Identity cartridge. Okay, that works. Time to put you back on. <laughs> Actually, let me go ahead and repair you. Perfect. I hope this works. It worked. Go that way. Gotta go this way. Heck, come on. Great work. Yes! Whew. That was a close one. Oh no, wait, I'm still in a restricted area. I can't hack the robots, can I? So much for an easy, uh, easy mission. This guy has failed, you don't say. Alright, let me go ahead and transfer controls here to Ada. Might use one in combat. Bugger! Let us continue, shall we? Logs. Automated audio transcript. Is this thing working? I said begin audio. Damn it. This is... P. Wells? Yeah, let's go with that. Work continues on test subject 112, retrieved from Hibernation Bay 8. Time of extraction, oh, let's say two and a half hours ago. Time of death, six minutes prior. Explosive cell death, my arch nemesis, haunting my every attempt at reviving our frozen colonists. Making a mockery of my procedures, I've tried every combination of every chemical available to me. Attempted every variation of every possible thawing procedure. A gradual melt. A flash thaw. Extremi extremities first, brain first. I don't know how much more of this I can take. Four hours of sleep in the very in the last seventy-two. Can still hear their screaming in my nightmares. Test subject one twelve. Real name Harley Stanton, age thirty-nine. Enjoyed singing. I'm sorry, Harley. I couldn't save you. So he's been working on this for a long time. Begin audio log as soon as I say the words. Begin audio log. What a ridiculously con inconvenient program. What happens if I just accidentally say the phrase audio log? Don't know why I'm talking to a frozen colonist. You're losing it, Phineas. Focus, focus. Come on, make the incision. There we go. Excellent. Well, well, my frigid friend. You disobeyed the moratorium on ingesting food 36 hours prior to hibernation, didn't you? Thank the law for disposable gloves. Steady now, steady. Oh, that's not good. That's definitely not good. <laughs> Damn slippery scalpel. <laughs> what? Well, who makes these anyway? Space's choice? Alright, I've got no choice. I'm going in. Interesting. Can you hear me, Captain? I have successfully integrated myself into the Hope's comm systems, and am attempting to establish contact with the Hope's more primitive processor now. Would you like me to play a mood-suitable music selection while you travel to the bridge? Oh, sorry. File not found. File not found. 
Warning, an unauthorized access will result in immediate termination upon your arrival in Halcyon. Sure, why not? Toriga R. Dear Diary, everyone is running around trying to figure out how we're going to eat, but none of it means anything if I can't keep us on course. It's hell. Charting 26 years of travel through space is... I don't know if I can handle it. It's so much pressure, so many lives. Lives. If I get one thing wrong, one smudge decimal point, one off by one miscalculation, we could crash into an asteroid. I keep thinking of the colonists. They just never wake up. Lucky them. I've called you all here because the numbers on our rations are off. What do you mean? We have too many. Someone hasn't been taking theirs. Extra food sounds like a good thing. Not extra. Someone's getting their food from another source. They must have it stashed somewhere. So, someone could have brought some fruit from Earth. If they did, we need to include it in our rationing, Frank. Every bit of food on this ship is to be split among us all. It's theirs. It isn't yours to take. This isn't about ownership. This is about survival. We're going to run out eventually, and the longer we last, the closer we get to figuring this shit out. Alright, alright. I want everyone to interrogate their crew, find whoever's not eating their share, and bring them forward. Wait. What? I'm confused. Perhaps there is hope yet. Mama used to have such a garden. I grew up on her tomatoes and lemons and limes when we left Earth. Oh, when we left Earth, she was so kind as to share a sample of seeds with me. So that whatever we end up, so that wherever we end up, I might start my own garden. Now, buds grow in hydroponics. This may not be a backyard, but it's something. I remember you every day, Mama. Mamochka, <laughs> no more than ever. Law helped me, it worked. I'm going to hell, but it worked. Now, how the fuck do I break the news to the captain? <laughs> what? Cap wanted this on record. Sick of the witch hunt, it's me. I haven't been eating my rations. Why? Don't need it. I don't mind feeling hungry. I need my chief engineer with his full faculties. I'm glad you owned up to this, but start eating your full share, that's an order. All due respect, Cap. We're up shit creek. I'm not sure that's an order means a lot right now. It holds weight now more than ever, Frank. We need to stay organized. Well, I ain't doing it, so either sh shove that shit down my throat yourself, or give my leftovers to someone else. I guess the crew... Wait! What was the... Oh no, was, was the, uh... Was the maintenance crew not... Uh... Um... Not the maintenance crew, was the flight crew not suspended? This is why we have automation! This is why we have autopilot and all those things. So that the flight crew themselves can, uh, can go to sleep as well. I feel so bad for the flight crew, aren't I? Hey, a corporate Keep your shoulders up. That's the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Let's do it, Ada. Status. Logs. I'm really curious to see what happened. Open the fucking doors, Will. No, you're killing us. Better you than the colonists. <laughs> <coughs> this is a Teotic. If we don't keep the ship afloat, they'll die anyway. Unnecessary risk. Rezzy is plotting our course. The ship will fly true. You're gambling with hundreds of thousands of people's lives. And you're handpicking which few you'll consume in your madness. Damn it, Alexi, find me a fucking drill. What? Captain, you hear that? Hear what? The drill stopped. Maybe they're taking a break. Maybe it broke. 
Maybe they're trying to get into cold storage. If they get through before they starve, they'll outlast us. Keep working, Resi. I'll take care of it. I think I'm the only one left. I don't know what Captain Hunt did down there, but he hasn't come back and they haven't used the drill. And I'm done. The course is set. I'm down to my last day of food and I don't want to die like Donna did. Fly true, Hope. Wow. So, yeah, the flight crew never went into suspended an animation. They started resorting to cannibalism. <laughs> Good grief. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. Before we do this, do you really think I'm doing the right thing? Probably not, but don't let that stop you. Hmm. My consolation executables could use some beefing up. Searching. Please stand by. Ah, found one. It will go great, Captain. I am almost 4.01% certain we will not die. <laughs> I'm ready. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. And also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? <laughs> Skip the hope. Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. Do it. Oh no. Captain, don't do this. I ain't dying on a fucking ship. I'm gonna die in the dirt like we're meant to. Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in 3, 2, 1. ADF. Does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. Do it! But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport, and this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. Got it. Come on. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Please. I have hope. Please don't die, colonists. Pl oh god, we are aimed directly at the sun. Sweet! We did it! It worked! Oh good. We are still alive and have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. <gasps> oh. I feel like I've been turned inside out. Let's not do that again. Agreed! There's only so much risk a peach can take. <laughs> and with that, I'd like to thank everyone for watching. Or, yeah, wa watching. Hopefully, the next episode will be the conclusion. Hopefully. <laughs> Choose. Oh my god, that was so intense. <laughs>